Hello everyone, welcome to current of your MCQs program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was consider the following statements regarding the term pulsars recently seen in the news. 1. These are rotating neutron stars. 2. They have weak magnetic field. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder or ASKAP astronomers have discovered a new pulsar which has been named PSR J1032-5804. Pulsars are rotating neutron stars observed to have pulses of radiation at very regular intervals that typically range from milliseconds to seconds. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Pulsars have very strong magnetic fields which funnel jets of particles out along the two magnetic poles. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. These accelerated particles produce very powerful beams of light. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence. 1. It was launched in 2020. 2. It has 15 members currently. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence that is GPAI Summit was seen in the news. GPAI is a multi-stakeholder initiative which aims to bridge the gap between theory and practice on artificial intelligence by supporting cutting-edge research and applied activities on AI-related priorities. GPAI was launched in June 2020, hence statement 1 is correct. Initially, it had 15 members which now has reached to 28 members, hence statement 2 is not correct. During the three-day summit, multiple sessions on diverse topics like artificial intelligence and global health, education and skilling, artificial intelligence and data governance among others will be organized. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news. The Climate Change Performance Index is published by which of the following? World Economic Forum, German Watch, Climate Action Network or United Nations Environment Programme. The correct answer is option B, German Watch. Recently, India climbed to 7th place in Global Climate Performance Index. The Climate Change Performance Index or CCPI was developed by German Watch as a tool for increasing transparency in international climate change policy. It aims to enable transparency in international climate politics and comparability of individual countries' climate protection efforts and progress. The CCPI was first presented at the 11th meeting of the Conference of the Parties, that is COP11, Climate Change Conference in Montreal in 2005. After the International Press Conference at COP13 in Bali, where the index was presented for the third time, there was already press coverage from over 100 countries. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements about the Namo Drone Didi Scheme. 1. The Namo Drone Didi Scheme is a government initiative focused on empowering women using drones for agricultural purposes. 2. The scheme aims to distribute drones to 10,000 women self-help groups, agricultural, rental services. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, the Namo Drone Didi scheme was seen in the news. The scheme is designed to empower women by providing drones for agricultural use, integrating advanced technology in farming. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Its aim is to enhance agricultural productivity and create job opportunities for rural women. The scheme targets 15,000 women SHGs for providing drone rental services to farmers, not 10,000. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. It is part of India's efforts to modernize agriculture and aligns with the Atmanirbhar Bharat, that is Self-Reliant India Initiative. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news, the joint military exercise, exercise Winbex 2023 is held annually between India and which of the following? Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Australia or Vietnam? The correct answer is option D, Vietnam. Recently, the Indian Armed Forces contingent comprising 45 personnel reached Hanoi 
वियतनाम टू टेक प्लेस इन द फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ ज्वाइंट मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज विनबैक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इट वॉज इंस्टीट्यूटेड इन ट्वेंटी एटीन एंड द फर्स्ट एडिशन वॉज कंडक्टेड एट जबलपुर मध्य प्रदेश इट इज एन एनुअल ट्रेनिंग इवेंट कंडक्टेड ऑल्टरनेटिवली इन इंडिया एंड वियतनाम द लास्ट एडिशन वॉज कंडक्टेड एट चांदी मंदिर मिलिट्री स्टेशन इन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू देर फॉर ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द अर्बन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड वन इट इज टू बी यूज बाय पब्लिक एजेंसीज टू क्रिएट अर्बन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन टीयर टू सिटीज ओनली टू इट इज मैनेज बाय द नेशनल हाउसिंग बैंक थ्री इट इज एस्टैब्लिश ऑन द लाइन्स ऑफ द रूरल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स की वन अबव इज और आर करेक्ट ओनली वन ओनली टू ऑल थ्री और नन The correct answer is option B. Only two. Recently, the Minister of State in the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs provided information on the Urban Infrastructure Development Fund. The government has set up the Urban Infrastructure Development Fund using priority sector lending shortfall for creating urban infrastructure in Tier Two and Tier Three cities. Hence, statement one is not correct. This fund is being managed by the National Housing Bank. Hence, statement two is correct. It has been established on the lines of the Rural Infrastructure Development Fund, that is RIDF. Hence, statement three is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is: Consider the following statements regarding the Krishi Udan scheme, sometimes seen in the news. One, it was launched in 2019. Two, it is a convergence scheme of the Ministry of Civil Aviation and Ministry of Development of North Eastern Region. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. Krishi Udan scheme was launched in August 2020 to assist farmers in transporting agricultural products to help improve their value realization. Hence, statement one is not correct. Krishi Udan scheme 2.0 was announced on 27th October 2021, mainly focusing on transporting perishable food products from the hilly areas. northeastern states and tribal areas the scheme is a convergence scheme where eight ministries or departments namely ministry of civil aviation department of agriculture and farmers welfare department of animal husbandry and dairying department of fisheries ministry of food processing industries department of commerce ministry of tribal affairs and ministry of development of north eastern region hence statement 2 is not correct There are 58 airports covered under the scheme at present. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements about the nationwide digital life certificate campaign 2.0. One, the campaign was launched in November 2023 with the aim of issuing digital life certificates to central government pensioners using face authentication technology. Two, the campaign targets to issue 70 lakh DLCs and is being organized in 200 cities across all states and union territories of India. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A, one only. Recently, the Minister of State for Personal informed that over one crore 15 lakh digital life certificates have been generated under the nationwide. Digital Life Certificate Campaign 2.0 in the last month. The nationwide Digital Life Certificate Campaign 2.0 was launched in November 2023, focusing on issuing digital life certificates to central government pensioners using face authentication technology. Hence, statement one is correct. However, the campaign's target is to issue DLCs to 50 lakh pensioners, and it is organized at 500 locations in 100 cities across. All states and UTs of India. Hence, statement two is not correct. The campaign involves collaboration with multiple pensions disbursing banks to streamline the process for pensioners. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is sometimes seen in the news. The project Earth Ganga is an initiative of which of the following: Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of Jal Shakti, Ministry of Finance, or Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. The correct answer is option B, Ministry of Jal Shakti. Recently, the project Earth Ganga was seen in the news. Earth Ganga is an initiative of Ministry of Jal Shakti added recently to the Namami Gange program launched by the government in 2014. It was decided in the meeting of National Ganga Council held in December 2019 to launch a new concept 
एज द नेम अर्थ गंगा विच इज अ सस्टेनेबल एंड वायबल इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट मॉडल टू स्ट्रेंथन द रिवर पीपल कनेक्ट थ्रू एन इकोनॉमिक ब्रिज सिक्स पिलर्स ऑफ अर्थ गंगा आइडेंटिफाइड आर प्रमोशन ऑफ नेचुरल फार्मिंग ऑन फाइव किलोमीटर्स बैंड ईदर साइड ऑफ रिवर गंगा मोनिटाइजेशन एंड री यूज ऑफ ट्रीटेड वाटर एंड स्लच फ्रॉम द एस टी पीज इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ लाइवलीहुड अपॉर्चुनिटीज पर्टिकुलरली फॉर वुमेन प्रमोशन ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड कल्चरल हेरिटेज पीपल्स पार्टिसिपेशन एंड बिल्डिंग ऑफ कैपेसिटीज एंड इंस्टीट्यूशंस दे फॉर ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिवर्स इज नॉट अ ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ द घग्गर रिवर समटाइम सीन इन द न्यूज कौशल्या रिवर टंगड़ी मरकंडा और हिंडन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी हिंडन रिसेंटली द ट्रांस घग्गर रेजिडेंट्स कैरिट आउट अ क्लीनलीनेस ड्राइव एट छठ पूजा घाट ऑफ द घग्गर रिवर इट इज एन इंटरमीडियंट रिवर इट फ्लोज ड्यूरिंग द मानसून सीजन ओनली इट राइजेस फ्रॉम द शिवालिक रेंज द मेन ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ द घग्गर आर द कौशल्या रिवर मारकंड सरस्वती टंगरी एंड चौटांग हिंडन रिवर इज अ ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ द यमुना रिवर दे फॉर ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज द नवे गांव नागजीरा टाइगर रिजर्व इज लोकेटेड इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आंध्र प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र और केरला द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी महाराष्ट्र रिसेंटली द डाटा फ्रॉम द रेडियो कॉलर है शोन दैट द टू टाइगर ट्रांसलोकेटेड टू लो डेंसिटी जोन इन नवे गांव नाजीरा टाइगर रिजर्व इन ईस्टर्न महाराष्ट्र earlier this year are thriving this tiger reserve is situated in gondia and bhandara districts of maharashtra it was declared a wildlife sanctuary in 1970 and in 2012 the state government announced to merging this sanctuary with another national park to include in tiger project now called as nagzira navegaon tiger reserve therefore option c is the correct answer now it's time for the practice question recently seen in the news the banni grassland is situated in which of the following indian states rajasthan madhya pradesh gujarat or maharashtra send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching